Good day, folks. Today we're going to be taking a look at an anamorphic lens for the Mavic Air 2. An anamorphic lens such as this will allow you to capture that nice widescreen cinematic look on your Mavic Air 2. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So this here is an anamorphic lens from Freewell, and it's for the Mavic Air 2. Now Freewell also makes one for the Osmo Pocket, and I did upload a video demonstrating it uh, about a week ago. So if you're interested in that, definitely go and check that video out. I'll include a link to it down below in the description of this video. An anamorphic lens allows you to get that nice widescreen look that usually looks like it has a black bar at the top and bottom, similar to what you would see when watching something like a Hollywood film. Now there are ways you can replicate that look without using an anamorphic lens, such as adding black bars to the top and bottom of your video or just cropping it out in a widescreen format. But with a lens like this you can actually get true anamorphic footage with your Mavic Air 2. So basically to use this anamorphic lens by Freewell it's similar to using an ND filter and you attach it the same way to the drone. All we're going to do is twist off the ring that's currently on the Mavic Air 2 camera and then we're just going to attach the anamorphic lens. And just like that there you can now see it's connected. Now once it's connected you just power on your drone and fly and film like you normally would. Now when you're done filming and you download the footage either to your computer, smartphone or tablet you're going to notice that it is still in a 16 by 9 format and not only that it's going to look a little squished because that's how these lenses work. It takes all that wide data and squishes it down into a 16 by 9. So at this point we have to do something called de-squeezing. We have to de-squeeze that 16 by 9 footage into a wide format. Now every editing application has their own procedure on how you de-squeeze footage. Now myself, I am a mobile editor. I do 100% of my editing on an iPad. So I'll show you a quick demonstration how to do it on an iPad using LumaFusion. Now I already quickly demonstrated this for my Osmo Pocket video, but uh, it's pretty well the same way for the Mavic Air 2. So to de-squeeze our footage, we're going to create a new project. Now you can go ahead and leave your frame rate on whatever you like. You can have it at 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. It doesn't really matter for de-squeezing footage. For myself, I'm just going to leave it at 30 frames per second. Uh, but what we do want to change here is the frame aspect. What we're going to do is click on it. And we're going to scroll down. And we're going to select the 2.39 by 1 aspect ratio. Once we have that selected, we're going to hit the plus sign to create the project. So now I'm going to browse through my content here for some footage shot with the anamorphic lens. And I'll use this clip here. You can see this was shot with the anamorphic lens. So we'll drag that down to our timeline. So now if you look at it here, it looks like it's already in a widescreen format, but there's still one thing we have to do to it. So what we're going to do is double tap on the clip to bring up the editor. And you want to make sure you select frame and fit. Now if you look at this clip, you can see it's still overhanging at the top and bottom, the preview window. So what we want to do is stretch that so it fits properly. So we're going to go to fit mode and then we're going to select stretch. You can see it puts it in there and it fits nicely. So that's all we have to do. Now we can go back to the main editing window. So that's basically it. We've now de-squeezed the footage. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that here. We'll press play. So that looks good, so you can do any other editing you want to do to it, do any kind of color correcting or grading, and then we will export it. And uh, I'm going to select Movie, Photos. Now when you go to export it, make sure you have it on the highest bit rate possible. And the reason being is that you're just exporting these clips to make them usable in other projects. So when you go to import it into a new project, if you're going to edit something together, it's always best to have it at the best quality. So then when you're ready, you just hit Export. So now when we go to our camera roll, you can see we now have our nice widescreen anamorphic footage. Now one thing you will notice here if you look at the horizon, there is a little bit of a curve to it. Uh, it's very minor, so it's not something you have to worry about too much. Uh, if you want, most editing applications have a way to uh, correct that. But really the footage looks really good. It's nice and cinematic and a great way to add some nice uh, B-roll to your videos. 
So yeah, folks, that is the Freewell Anamorphic Lens for the Mavic Air 2. I'll include a link down below where you can go and check it out further. I do believe they are available on Amazon and, of course, on the Freewell website. Product is fairly new, so if they're not available on Amazon, they will be shortly. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.